They they discovered the secret pathway in, it would seem. They have. So not only secret passwords, but secret pathways. Right? Right. So um, we have we're going to be viewing the last four people. And did you send them there? And put it in the classroom so everybody can follow along. Oh, I think it's all on. You went all onto WhatsApp. I think I should have put it in the classroom, shouldn't I? Probably. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, see if I can do that now. Yeah, it's actually yes, it's all on Cyber Poet. Where are we? If I can. Overlord says definitely a pre-party and the SSPP chat is the after party. You're just looking forward to hearing Harry sing while I sit there and just grin big. Grin big. Right. Um, I wonder if I can do all these in one go. Might be able to. Leslie says, hola, still in party mode. Hello, Leslie. Casper says, Viva la after party. And Harry says, Angelique, can you not see our pre chat up there? No. Do you have a pre chat about the party? What What did y'all say in pre chat? Hi, Carrie. What did y'all say? I had no idea that y'all could even come on because. Y'all shouldn't have been able to see us because I had not went live yet. Hi, Tommy. Y'all were having drinks and dancing. Oh, that. I did see the dancing. But I don't know how y'all were still. So how did y'all get in? Did y'all not leave? Is that what happened? Did y'all not leave? And Possibly. so it just. It's a waiting room. We couldn't see you. We were just in the chat. We didn't. Oh, so y'all couldn't see us and y'all couldn't hear us. That's good to know. So does that mean whenever I end this and I go to start doing a sec, another one, that if you stay in the room, that you'll just continue over into the next video? Yes, I just said waiting for you. Oh, interesting. I did not know that that happened. So that's good to know. Uh, Overlord says, no, it comes up as an upcoming live. No, we couldn't see you until we turned until you turned your camera on. But y'all could be typing, though. That's so interesting. We can talk all about you. Yeah, and I can't see it. Don't y'all feel good? We just have to click on the waiting. I, know, I didn't know that existed, so I've just learned something new tonight. Thank you. It just means I'm like, thank you, Overlord. Just just dig into the pet peeves. Just dig into them. Yes. Uh, no, we got to go into it. Yeah. So we will be starting. Um, one might get some up in the classroom. And so excludes fans only chat. Exclusive fans only chat. Yes. Oh, does that mean y'all are fans? I feel so special. Are y'all fans of me or Mike or both of us? And they're like, no, we're here for Mike. Go away, Angelique. Go away. Um, I don't see a lot of red dots. Oh, wait a minute. There they come up. Never mind. I was looking at the wrong ones. I was like, oh, people did better. People did great. It's like, no, nope, here come the red dots. Right, I've got into the classroom, but unfortunately, they're the ones without the dots because the ones with the dots were done in WhatsApp. Can we, can we, can we move those across? Well, it, they, if you did it in WhatsApp, it should be saved on your computer or phone somewhere, right? So that you can just send the file into Instagram because they couldn't have been made in WhatsApp, right? Or did you make them in WhatsApp? No, I made, I made them in Canva, put them onto WhatsApp, and then use WhatsApp to edit them and dot them. Oh, you would have to save them. Um, you'd have to save each one individually and then use the save file to send to Instagram. Right. Right. 
we are respectful fans. Definitely fans, just not the only fan. <laughs> That's what I was thinking, Cassie, when he said that. Harry said only respectable fans here. Yeah, of course. Can we have some dingy fans, some 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 fans that have seen better days and, and they just want to be taken home and, and partied up? I mean, those are some pretty cool fans to come across when you're out and about garage selling. Um, Overlord says, would you like me to move them? Would you like Overlord to move them so we can get started, Mike? Oh, yes, brilliant. I'm trying to get them over. Oh, can you get, can you get into them? Yes, the Overlord's over. in the folder as well. Oh. It's you, me, and the Overlord. Right, okay, brilliant. If you can get into them, that's excellent. That would certainly be handy. Start with Richard, no more half measures first, because he wrote a brilliant poem, but it's not a Toddite. No, it's not a Toddite. So it's not dotted at all, right? No. no. Okay. So. Oh. So do you want to read it? So, yeah, so I'll read it. So, because we have this irregular. Um, Syllable lengths, we've got like 10, 8, 9, 8, 6, 6, 9, 7, 7, 5, 8, 8, 9, 10, 11. <clears throat> Those in Jammon, which we were talking about the other night, we couldn't for a life of us think of something. Um, so anyway, we've got a bondable cyberman made curse, bound forever in verse, enwrapped metal can, permanent penance for crime-filled passion, Living off bite sized ration, endless rhyme. Tortured penance, now part machine. Some me, prison poetry. Bleeds this metal heart, random access memory. Saves pain's thoughts, long lost freedom. Distorts remorse's wave. Forgives sinful mortal lack, lust of pearls. Robot heaven knows as I fade black. Artificial life displays ice-like soul. Dice's final roll. Please turn off this device. So, it's, it's an interesting piece. And it is, it's a machine being part man, part machine, being reflective and really asking to be terminated. Yeah, it's a gorgeous poem. Yeah, it is a brilliant poem. Yeah, that's right. Um, yeah, it's a lot of you need, you need to be read, but um, it wasn't to the Todd I form. But good, brilliant poem anyway. Yeah, and the reason it's not to the Todd-eye form is because the censura, even though he uses censuras, he doesn't use them in the correct places no. or the correct ways. The um, line count, I mean, the syllable count is completely off in almost all of the rhymes. And the rhyme yeah. is it's off. It's, it's, it's just off. not it's, to that. Yeah. No, it's not a Tudai. It is a great poem and it's very interesting. And there is some cross rhyme in there. There is. And some other bits and pieces. Um, and there's a load of enjambment in there. But it's not a Tudai poem, but it is a, it's a lovely yeah. poem. It is gorgeous poem. Yeah. yeah, it's impossible to break down as far as is it a Tudai or not. Because... Yeah. Now, shall we talk of the next villain in the room? But it's really Which good, is... though. Yeah, it's really good. Shall we talk about the next villain in the room? Which is VJ. Yes. VJ wrote six lines. He didn't do two quatrains. <laughs> he did six lines. <laughs> Not quite sure why. Um, there is a six line. They, I, think they did a, I think they did a quatrain and a couplet is how they. Yeah. yeah. Or yeah. That's how it is on here. Yeah. But yes, yeah, right, but the Todd I is. I know. Quatrains. It's. it's Couplets, but in, in quatrains. There is a six-line Todai, and that is the Todai here. But the first four lines 
a ten syllables with an A rhyme, then the couplet is an A rhyme ten syllable ending with a nine with a B yeah. with a B. But I remember yeah. that one. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. But brilliant anyway. And it's still an yeah. interesting one. It's still an interesting piece all the same. And I thought, VJ, you villain you. So we have cyber poets of the future, beware. Best take care, we are a strong culture. We live in books, bleeding cursive, lee inked. We are blinked from existence, dreaming. Sailing stanzas swirling in threads, darkened, written unburdened, but never dead. And going across, we've got to beware care and future culture and ink blinked. And then we went a bit, wee bit wrong with, because um, we had cursive Lee. So we had to end up with Lee as the, as the rhyming. Yeah, you can't Lee. do that. So it didn't quite, but it's pretty much, but it didn't quite. Dry it broke the censor. It did, yes. That's right. And it ended up. In, in the uh, in the pause, um, and then we have um, oh yeah, ink blink. That's what I said. And then we have the final the couplet, um, which was darkened, burdened, and threads dead. So yeah, cool. Yeah, I believe a lot of the dots are for half are are you're marking them because they're. Half rhyme when they should be full rhyme. They are, yes, right, yeah. Um, they read well, but they read where well, the full yeah. rhyme is, they're often half rhyme. So I think we've, yeah, I think we've covered that quite well, really, on you know, when yes. we've been speaking about them. So, and sometimes where the half rhyme is, we've got full rhyme, and then the other way around. But, but um, it is like, like Kel says, it is a gorgeous poem. It is, it is a it's a beautiful poem. poem. Yeah. Because like we said, all these these have been written beautifully and they're lovely to read. And we all do now really are saying this was not in quite the right place or that wasn't quite in the place. Um, and this is probably... Way... Sorry, go ahead. Yeah, sorry, yeah, no, I'm saying it's a, it's a good way of going through these. And uh, yeah, because they do read lovely. They read well, really well. They do. And this is probably a good time to remind and point out in case somebody hasn't quite gotten it yet. When it comes to what might cause the knitting patterns, if it's a capital in like lo yeah. the lowercase X's mean just mean it's syllables. No rhyme. That's just syllables in the in the line. But if it's a capital, if it's a capital letter, that means it's a full rhyme. And if it's a lowercase letter, that means it's a half rhyme. It's a half rhyme. So you can't use the half rhymes on the full rhymes, and preferably not vice versa. No. Yes, right. that's right. Because um, once you've mastered that, then all those lovely syllables shouldn't be wasted, because then we can start messing around with other little devices. But it's best to get the basic main rhyme and the secondary rhyme, and then you can move on to playing with build around it yeah. yeah so shall we do the first of ashes pieces sure now oh i've got a big load of forgiveness here because she's brought in and had you on into the poem and why not i think it's brilliant because right. she, she was an Arcadian princess, and although she wasn't the first person to write, or the first poet, or the first writer, she actually put a name to it, and she yeah. wrote in the first person, which is very unusual. Yes. So, I mean, yeah, she must have been very privileged and very brave, I think. So, yeah. That's I great. think there's, isn't there, isn't there a movie about her? discussing I that know. I, think I, 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 I think i remember seeing it many years ago um it was a sad movie yeah but i think well, there were harsh times but yeah and she because she was made the priestess of the i think it was the moon temple and she was the, the priestess of the goddess there um and she had this 
ethereal affair with um oh comes the main deity Inanna the main deity there so it was a female love affair way back but well, that happened it was, a lot he did absolutely but he was but he was also he was on a, an ethereal level but also yeah. on a, a strangely physical level as well even though it was with a deity Right. Very, very fa yes, but anyway, a fascinating character. It um, is a fascinating character. Oh, yeah. And the fact I love that, the way Ash brings, brings these things into her writing. Uh, yeah, and the fact it ends up with nine syllables, I think we can forgive that just by yeah. putting Enduhana in there. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> oh, because it ended with 11 syllables instead of 10. Because that stretched it just that one too many, but fantastic. Right. And Leslie is saying, I do not think of rhyme this way. Language needs to be respected in the form, and to do so, the poet's voice is extremely curtailed. I need to find simple words to make the complete rhyme. Yeah. Great. Yeah. Yeah. Often, when you're doing sonnet poetry and other poetry like that, keep to simple words. The more complicated, the more you knock the rhyme out, um, the, the singing rhyme out. And you can get far more complicated. So I find it depends. I think you can use some of the longer words. It just depends on how they sound, what the rhythm where, of them is, yeah, where, where they are. Yeah. Yeah. Begin and end with simple words. Yes. Because it, it helps you carry forward. Um right, so the first of ashes. Built after deconstruction, something. It was not of a king's instruction. All men have fallen first to last, save one. Flesh and blood woman unlocks the past. Harvesting a Henduana's words by force. Daisyless discourse ignoring birds. All of our secrets brought from birth and how. They can clone us now, but not our worth. It's a gorgeous poem. A gorgeous poem. It is absolutely it's a lovely poem. With intense meaning. Very much so. And I think, yeah, you can delve into that because it was it's a very it's boy, it's, it's a it's a yeah. I mean where we've got men has fallen, yeah. but we we're talking about women here rising up and taking taking the mm. lead. I think it's yeah, brilliant, very, very clever. But it, but it's also but it's also interesting because they say because even though it's talking about all men have fallen, um, she also says in that second line, it was not of a king's instruction. No. So it's women. Women, exactly that. Women did it, that. It was totally, yeah. Uh, yeah. It was totally twisted through with, um, yeah, with with, with female dominance. And, yes. But then, if we're looking back towards that time there was a lot of female power about there was it's a lot of women there wasn't the power. fear that came up in no, in the no, different yeah no, there was a respect that conversation for another time another channel <laughs> so <laughs> what, what happened there so we have yeah we have um, something and king for the b rhyme and we have deconstruction and instruction on the a rhyme um, and then we have we have an interesting B rhyme where we have one linked with woman, and yeah, it, it does work. When you're reading it, it works. Well, it, it, because because you can move it between the three and the five, even yeah. though we have it on the end. I believe one and one. She probably wrote it to be hitting on the wa part. You probably yes, exactly that, and that's what I was going on. I'm thinking, it's it's a nice, it's a, it's a slide rhyme. It's a really yeah, it's a slide is. rhyme. It is, and then we have last and past. Yes, which is why is which last is, and past bad? Yeah, but why is that marked? I don't understand. Last and past would be a full rhyme, at least well, in the U.S. Yes, yeah, yeah. And it's, oh, okay. we're looking. Yeah, we have a full rhyme. We have last and past, and that's good. 
Oh, well, it's, it's dotted. That's why I was asking. Oh, no. I'm just, just highlighting where the rhymes are. Sorry. Oh. Yeah. It's not that they're wrong. It's just that's where they are. So if they are wrong, you can see it clearly if they're right or wrong. No other reason. Oh. Well, see, in the other ones, we only dotted what was wrong. So I, I you're did, looking. But I thought, because I had to be quick, I thought if I dot all where the rhymes should be, we can see, it's clearly see if they're right or wrong. We should probably tell people that, that all the dots are not wrong. Not, that's right. They're not wrong. No, they are just highlighting where they are or should be. So that's you can right. clearly see. Yeah, if you we'll read them, they're wrong, that. they're wrong. Yeah. yeah. And Leslie says, I adore the power that emanated from this poem, right? Yeah, absolutely. I loved it. Um, so in the next part, we have words and birds. And we have force and discourse I'm so, good you're good and then we have birth and worth and how and now not a half rhyme but not, not a half um, rhyme but it flows beautifully yeah. so yeah and it, 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 it rhymes so and we're going on how correct or incorrect um, but also how it sounds wait then my dots are mixed says, no your dots are not on yours he yeah. did everything that was wrong so that's yeah. why this was throwing me off so yeah, that's yours, why. your red dots are true red dots yes but uh with this one because i had to do it quickly because it was messing around um i thought if i just highlight where they all are then we're, we're away but anyway, beautiful poem, and yeah, and I say yeah, we can we can forgive you the the, the additional syllable because of bringing such beautiful detail in, and that yeah, right. Right. So we have Melrose poetry. I'm working on my dots. Helpful. Helpful. I was I was saying hi yeah to Harry. Yeah. Yes, there's yes, Harry. there is. Good. So what does the one mean? The one. You have a one on the side of the page. A big red hot pink line. Oh, that's that's clumsy finger. <laughs> It's not really a one. That's just me being, oh, it's too late to take it out now, otherwise I'll wipe out all my dots. Um, so it's not there. Yeah, that doesn't mean anything. So we have cyber poets seeking buried treasure, filled with rushed rapture, AIs hurried. Robotic words never ringing, no soul. Outrage console steady lagging. That was an eight syllable line. Pop goes the weasel suddenly alive. Bourgeoisie contrive it's meant to be. I love the word bourgeoisie as well. Left a jack in the box out of control. Technology stole all the world docks. Infinite is always within arm's reach. Victims of a breach much too often. Criminals that dip into a writer's mind. So the curse is coming, the poem's coming to writers. That's the problem with that one. So you end up with right, then the inner gap, then turns mind. And that was an 11 syllable um, line. And then the destructive kind was, was quite a quip. Murderous impersonations, DMs, virtuous victims, dark liaison, and laying waste to the pen's process, it falls. There's nothing that calls or will impress. Desperately seeking any sparkle, you are not mortal and you're stealing. Cyber poets, they cannot look within. Weak source of jargon without a hook. 
Did you not get it yesterday, Harry? Whenever I sent it to you, did it not go through? Because I sent everybody's yes. yesterday to them in DM about 30 minutes before the class started. So on the first stanza, we have treasure and rapture as the B rhyme and buried and hurried as the A rhyme. All good there? Yeah. Then the second the um, second couplet, we have soul and console as the B rhyme and ringing and lagging as the A rhyme. But we did have an eight syllable line there. So yeah. And they must be 10, 9, 10, 9, 10, 10 9, 10, nine yeah, really. And then uh, follow on, we have um, alive and contrive for the B. And then we go a bit wrong on the A rhyme because we have um, suddenly and meant to be. So it went a bit awry there right. on that one. And then um, controlled and stole is a B rhyme. And then again, I know what she's gone for. She's gone for box and docks, but it's too it's far sad. back. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's, it's too far back. So, yeah, you can see exactly what she was aiming for, which is... Um, she forgot that that first line, it's got to be on the eight. Instead of, and, it, and, it, and it's hard when you're looking at them and you're, I've, once you get so far down, like I find I really have to... Uh, when I'm doing these, I literally make a list of words that I'm going to yeah. use and I put them in the position that they need to be. Because if I don't, as I go, I'll start mixing up where the eight syllable goes and the three to five syllable. Yeah. It's easy, I think, to start it is. misplacing them. Oh, yeah, definitely. Yeah, definitely. We've all done it and we'll, all, we'll, all, we'll always continue to do it. Yeah. And then it's when you publish it, you know, you see, oh, that's wrong. <laughs> Um, reach and breach and again we dip out on within and often so it's not quite right right and then then we go we go right here because again I know what she's, she's doing <laughs> but we've got mind and kind which work beautifully but then we've got dip and quip well dip is one, two, three, four. It's sort of four or five syllables back from the eighth. So we and we also broke the sensor. And broke the sensor by having right tuz. So so we broke the sensor. So I will well, I will go over these again and dip the mark and highlight those little marks. But I just need to get this done so we could get we could get on yeah, and just I understand. Them. <laughs> and yeah. so anybody who was who isn't aware who wasn't on the other one and doesn't know what a sensor is, if it, if there's a sensor in the form, you can't divide a word with the sensor. No. Your full words have to be on either side of it. Yeah, it goes horribly wrong if you do. And then because she actually got quite a few stanzas did um did well. So the next one we had. It's interesting she used it after the census, she used DMs, which was an interesting way of doing that. So we so we end up with um M M's and victims. So we've got Tims and M's. So yeah, it works. And we have impersonation and liaison. So again, it's it's close. It's not quite a, a full A rhyme, but yeah. Yeah, but it, it does flow, but it's not really quite quite an A rhyme. Uh, and then we move on to falls and calls and process and impress. So we're back online there. And then in the final um, stanza, we have sparkle and mortal. So for a B rhyme, mm -hmm. I think it's a little bit, it's a wee bit tenuous. And uh, it's cheeky. Um, it's, it's, cheeky. It's, it's cheeky. It's cheeky. It, it, it reads well, but when you're looking at it, it's, it's a bit is cheeky. Um, and then again, we've gone the hiccup where we've gone back because I can see she's meaning seeking and stealing, 
I mean, she's got the in rhyme as the A rhyme. Yeah. But because it's back on the seventh syllable rather than the eighth syllable, so it's just clipped out a bit. Right. Um, and then she's done an interesting one as well. She's got within and jargon. Not really. I don't think it really clicks. Not even tried every which way, but it, yeah. it doesn't. Yeah. And look and hook, which, yeah, they do. They work well. In fairness, in fairness, I agree with you on it just because of how I speak, but I know where she lives. And it is very possible that instead of saying jargon, jargon, yep. that where she lives, many people might say jargon. Yep. It's a southern right. thing. So, Again, so it's what we've it, it discussed. It could be a rhyme for her, jargon. For her, yeah. That's right. Yes. Within jargon, yeah, jargon, yeah. That's how if, if they pronounce that way, then yeah. yeah. I could see, I could see what she's quite getting at, but it just it's a wee bit squeaky. Yeah, I think I think, and she she lets people know that she's in Florida, so I think Florida she could be saying jargon yeah. instead of jargon because yeah. yeah, a lot yeah. of people do. People here say it where I where I live. Jargon is more likely to be heard than the other. Than the other one, yeah. But um, again, a brilliant poem. It is, and most of it's right it, it, for the form. I mean, it's it's beautiful to read. It's very sound. Poetry needs to be spoken, and it has yes. to be oh, enjoyed as a spoken. spoken poem. Always, reading poetry is not the same. It's no. you, you can your mind can only go so far. You you need that express. And she's words. a spoken word poet, so she yeah. writes. Yeah. To read, um, and Harry says, "I love, I love the tie-dye form used in that other one." Yeah, I mean, it's, it's uh, it works really well, really well. And let's and just now he's in. referring to that other that other poem, not the other form, but the other form, the yeah. other other form. That's he's referring to one of those, <laughs> the G right. word, the yeah. Gwaldodin. Oh, the Gwaldodin, yeah. the Gwaldodin, the Gwaldodin, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, I'm sure we'll play with that again because there is an alternative way of writing those as well. So we could play with that. And Leslie says, this is a very regional. And so I make sense of it when in New York City we cut words. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and that's why it's good we're talking across the Atlantic because yes. we use language differently. Very differently. Yeah. So it's, it's good because, yeah, what could appear incorrect one way is actually correct another way. So that's why we're going for the spoken and we're just going through, well, this is the form and it's more where the syllable comes. Um, is the, you know, it's, it's the eighth, tenth, floating, ninth on, on these couplets. Yeah. Yeah. Kel says, dialect matters. Yeah, dialect matters. Uh, Dar what about Doctor Who now? What's the dialect got to do with it? <laughs> Right? Who needs to come back? Harry says Dan uses his Northern English he accent does. in his work for rhymes yeah. to great effect. Yeah, he does. They speak very differently to the way we speak. It's interesting to read his poetry with his use of that because there is a much more musical flow to yes. his words Definitely. because he's cutting yeah. those words and using words I've not heard of. But no, that's right. They, I can see using, where it comes in because yeah. they're these single syllable bits yeah, and bobs sounds. that really make it flow more. Yeah, they do, yeah, and they and you use they use dialect, you know, their own dialect words as well, which come in, and they have well, we all have our own words for different things, <laughs> which can make it. Yeah. And for for what's relatively a small island, we've got an awful lot of dialects. We really have. Yeah, yeah. too. Yeah. You can you can you can go thirty miles and they speak a different dialect, which um, is so wild to me that some yeah. somewhere so small because y'all are yeah. very yeah. small have so many different dialects and such a short distance from each other yeah. and they're distinctly different. It's not even just like oh it's slightly no some of them are so distinctly different oh, yeah. and that baffles me in a lot of ways. You can go uh, as you go further up north. You've got 
city areas where but each city will speak entirely different and it's wild yeah it's the same but very different very markedly different and i, I noticed leslie come in and said you know we need to fa stick fairly strictly to the form um yeah agree um the verbal side is important we play the form with where the pauses are and where the syllables are but we also want to enjoy the words and uh, I certainly wouldn't spoil a good poem forcing it to a right to a, a scheme um, totally like that you know so to, yeah. to be very rigid as long as we keep as faithful as we can do to the form yes um and Harry says that it is great it encourages people to read in a voice that isn't their own yes and Leslie yes. says Actually, dialect does not matter in the USA once it comes to this form, Kelsey. Well, it does to a degree, Leslie, because depending upon how you speak can really change the syllable count sometimes, and it can change it can change the rhyme drastically. Even strict, even sticking to strict form, it can still change it, even in this country. Yeah, um, very much so. And, and Harry says people have a different way of speaking a few towns over in Somerset. Casper says, I should point out that my today use of the word again sounds like a game. Mike is going to have to talk to you about your today attempt because you got some things wrong too on yeah. the form. Yeah. Um, okay, Harry okay. says, I agree, Mike, as long as you can keep the essence of the form, you can take a license. And Cal says, Southerners and Northerners speak differently. Uh, as does the East Coast, West Coast. Yeah. Uh, Harry says, yes, Casper, again or again. I yes, like well, the word again, again. Yes, I will do it again and again, again and again. Again. And Harry was saying about Somerset. It's Somerset. They speak S with a Z. It's Somerset. Really? Really, yeah. I think probably not so much now as it used to be, but when it was, you've got heavy dialect. Yeah, Somerset. Um, I did not know that. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's, and it changes. Yeah, it's quite remarkable how things change. And then, if you look at Barry Holloway, um, he's Scottish. He's a Scotsman. He lives in Bristol, but when he writes with a Scottish brogue, <laughs> no. Oh, that's what's his name? Um, the hollow. The yeah. sonic. Yeah. The hollow man. Yeah. Barry Holloway. And there, oh, there's a, there is a sonic one, the sonic guy who who does Scottish sonics. Okay, yeah, because yeah, when he's doing people. his sonnets and his brogue, it's like, oh, tell me some more sonnets. Because... I'll, I'll, I'll destroy <laughs> them with my southern accent. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we'll just... Um, <clears throat> Alyssa says, this is why I've been so hesitant to try these different forms. Ha! <laughs> oh, no, don't be hesitant. No, we'll do fine. Do we'll do fine. Yeah. Because we always talk Very about soon. them, and I think it might be might pay when we do a form to have a chat for half an hour before the form goes live, just on how the form works. Probably might, might be, yeah, it might be helpful. Just a little video. Yeah. Yeah. I was going to talk to you about that because since you can do lives real fast and you don't have to do the buffering, you could literally do a private live of you just explaining it yeah. or us or you explaining it to me, yeah. and we can keep it private with no chat and then. Post it. Might be yeah. a good idea. Yeah, mm -hmm. good idea. And then Harry says, not as much now, but yes, Zummerzat Cider. And Zumzat. Casper says, yeah. I understand that and accept it. Trying new things is fun. Yes, absolutely, yeah. Casper. That's and Kel says, yes, my house growing up was all kinds of mixed up because my dad was yeah. from Cali, my mom was from Michigan, and we went to school in the country. Oh, Kels, that was all sorts of mixed up. And Harry says, agree, Casper, so. Yes. So we have one more piece by Ash. Yes. So it's, it's a single four-line stanza or poem. And it is, the process of understanding letters phonetic authors are composing sent to the fusiform gyrus transport engraved to, th to thwart mere existence. I love the um, the fizzy form gyrus, which is the big central Did you part say of the gyrus? brain. I always gyrus, say yeah, gyrus. gyrus. Gyrus, yeah, <laughs> which is that part of your brain which controls thought, I think. 
I don't know much about it. I'm, not, I'm no brain person. Okay, um, no. But I just thought it's again. She's dropped an interesting thing in inside a poem. Most of her poetry does. Yeah. Sometimes yeah, very, very you don't thoughtful. catch it, but most of her poetry does. Yeah. So we've got a B rhyme of letters and authors, and an A rhyme of understanding and composing. And then the second couplet, we have a B rhyme of transport and thwart. Which is interesting. It works as a B rhyme though, from wouldn't yeah. it? Yeah, for me it works. Because when you're saying them, transport and thwart, there's enough of a similarity yeah. there to do a for a slide rhyme. Uh, goes a bit wrong on the A rhyme. Yeah. Because we've got diverse and we've got existence. So but still it's an interesting piece, interesting thought. And again, she drops in a, a bombshell. Yeah, it's a it's a it's a really nice quatrain. Yep. It's a nice quatrain. It really is a nice quatrain. And so that's all the to dice, isn't so it? That brings us to the end of our today and you know sort of that was yeah and a fascinating so, beautifully done so what we decided we were going to do so that to give everybody a chance if y'all want to since several of the people that wrote the todays are already in the room we thought before we move on to the next form now that everybody kind of has a better grasp of how to read the patterns and what the sensor are and everything that's required would y'all like to do the to die again, but open subject? Yeah. Yeah, go for it. Yeah. A rewrite, yeah. yeah so for it, the yeah. next form, it's a to die, but it's open form. You can write it on any subject that you want to. Um, how do y'all feel about that? And Kelsey says, great job, everybody. Yes, absolutely great job. Yeah. And for Casper, I'll, I'll be sending Casper a note tomorrow because... They sent me down their poem to read yeah, and, and I'll break it down for them and I'll, I'll send awesome. them a, a DM. Yeah. Harry says, yes. Well, then I, I think I think we should redo it and, and we'll carry that over um, yeah. into the next week. So God, yeah. um, that'll go up on Wednesday. So y'all are going to have plenty of time to do it. And that will give that will give Mike time to do like a another mini lesson like you said beforehand to put up sort of thing we can do get ahead of all, on all yes. that yeah yeah so so we're all happy with the todd eye so i'll do a mini lesson on the next form or on the todd eye on the todd eye if we're going to do we'll the do. todd eye that's yeah. what it should be yes. on i think yes i think so <laughs> so yeah we'll yeah, do a little mini i'll do a little mini video and then we can we can post it up yeah yeah that'd be great so but everybody wrote brilliantly um, and they all read beautifully. And this is really just getting bits in the right place because the rhyming was there, but sometimes you just misstepped. Yeah. And, and, and that really is what it is. Everybody did really great. The yeah. only, I would say the, the biggest flaws were the, the dividing between the dividing words with the centra. Yes. And I think people now that they know probably won't do that. No, that's Excited right. Yeah. For the next form is, yes, it's a secret. No, no, no telling. Um, Kel Kelsey says everybody has to start somewhere and this is a safe place to learn. Exactly, yeah. Kels. Um, <clears throat> this is a, this is, and that's what's so great about this is we're able to tell each other, oh, you messed up here, but nobody is judging. Nobody, nobody is going, ooh, it's a bad poem or ooh, no. you failed or anything like that because clearly every single one of these poems is brilliant. Yeah. Just not the Tadai part yeah. wrong. And, Ta and we learn from, from it. Hell. Yeah, we learn from it. We all learn from it. And then we move on. We do. And, yeah, we do all learn. Because once we stop learning, where's the point? Yeah, yeah. 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 Like, I think Harry messaged me and saying about sometimes on IG we get a lot of backpacking, you know, being patted on the back all the time. I said that's the problem. I said, how I hate can you, how can you grow if everyone says you're perfect? Because it's 
you've got to, you've got to then know no this is not right and I do need to push myself more but yeah some people will sit back on that and say well if I'm great what I do then I'll, I'll carry on doing what I'm doing I don't think it's even that so much no. is if every single thing you do you're being told you did awesome you're on fire yeah. you this is great I love this if every single thing that you do is told that then you don't have any kind of incentive to try harder. You don't no. see your writing accurately after a certain point. No. And if somebody dares to say something, eh, yeah, you'll I've get quite it. offended because the yeah. overcomplimenting, yeah. as Harry says, just numbs you to it. Does to it because I've been asked to read and inform so you do read and inform and it all goes deathly quiet <laughs> yes. because you've not said what they want to hear and it's um yeah yeah and and that's uh -huh. what i love about doing this and i love and this is what i love about our kitties too is they want the constructive criticism yeah, that's right they're it's craving it and yeah. that is oh yeah, nobody's being judgmental. Nobody's saying it's wrong because the poems are lovely, are brilliant. They are really good. They're great to read. It's just we're looking at a form, and where this little bit missed or that little bit missed. Um, yeah, yeah, but it, That's cool. it's a but and and like Cal says, we need to do away with participation awards. But and I agree completely. Yeah. But what yeah. I love is everybody, every single person in this room is going, is going. Yes. Uh, like Richard says, I just ask Angelique when I need to be brought down to earth with a crash. Oh, I don't crash you, but but I like it. Whatever I like that everybody in in this in in this society is like, please tell me if I messed up here, yeah. or does this read okay, or do you like this line? And they really want to know. That, does this line read weird? It reads weird to me, or so. You know what I mean? They're not yeah. asking for you to, for false compliments, and I no. I love that. Yeah, um, that, that's right. It, it's, it's, yeah, that's the way, and that's the way it should be because you know yourself. You write your poem and you read it, and you think, do you know what? That is not really. And you're, you're publish it, and you look at it again, and you're thinking, do you know what? That needs changing. There are things I don't like of that. It's not right. Yeah. Um, and they're saying a lot. Y'all can go. The The chats are still on the lives if y'all want to come back and read them yeah. after the live. Unlike Instagram, YouTube doesn't disappear the chat unless I tell it to. So, And I don't. So they'll still be there for you to read. Um, and Tommy is asking if there's visuals. If, there, if you go into the classroom, there's visuals there, Tommy. And I imagine he'll be making some more. Um, no, very true, that true, Leslie. Um, Shakespeare is not understood because he was lucky, he wrote before the great vowel shift. And when they codified the English language in the 1750s, yeah, they wiped away swathes of words we could use and, and ways of, of bringing words together. Are you saying that we use our hands a lot, Richard? <laughs> <laughs> can I, can, can, oh, I'm feeling some hand motion coming on, yeah. but I probably shouldn't do it. I wonder, no. I wonder what, yeah, I probably shouldn't do it. No. Imagine it. Imagine no. it. Imagine it. Um, but this was pretty amazing, I think. I mean, and, and it really yeah. makes me happy that everybody's happy That's to right. get the yeah. critique. Yeah. Yeah, no, we're, all, we're all chatting about this and we're all... Because we were nervous about it. Yeah. We were nervous yeah. about it. So yeah. this is... It's good. So this I'll is do, wonderful. Yeah. So we'll do a half, I'll do a half hour chat on the tie-dye yeah. okay. and where things go. And um, we we'll take it from there. Yes. So thank you so much, Mike. No, for, thank you. For coming Brilliant. on during your week uh, and, and, and staying late with us. And yeah. we really deeply appreciate it. Yeah. And yeah, and always make words come alive because that's what they are. That's what they're for. I know. Yeah. Enjoy language. Enjoy language. Yeah. Yes, enjoy the language. Yeah. And thank you guys for coming in for the thank classroom. And we're going to be, we're about to start right back up. And when we start back up, we are going to be going into, are you ready, Harry? 
Are we going into the zombie nursery zombie rhyme land. songs? Or are we going into the odes? Which which are we doing? Oh, please do, Carol. Please do. Oh, I hope you do, Kels. Yeah. Zombies it is. So zombies. are you sticking around for zombies, Mike? You want to hear Harry sing? I've worked with Jeff with listening to some zombies. Zombies to lull me to sleep. <laughs> zombies will just conk yeah. your brain right out. All right. Well, thank you guys for coming. We will be right back. Thank you so much, Mike. Thank you. Um, always you a pleasure. Bye. And see you in a bit. Bye. Bye.